What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to install the Morph Mod in Minecraft. The Morph Mod is an amazing addition that allows you to transform into any mob you defeat, bringing a whole new level of gameplay to Minecraft. First, make sure Minecraft is closed before starting this process to avoid any errors. We'll be downloading two things today, the Morph Mod and a utility called iChan Util, which is required for the mod to function properly. First, open up your browser and search for Minecraft Morph Mod. All links will be in the description below. The best place to get this from is CurseForge, a trusted website for Minecraft mods. Once on the CurseForge site, search for Morph Mod and head to the Files section. You'll want to download the version of the mod that matches your Minecraft version. To download, simply click on the three dots next to the file and then select Download File. Once the file is downloaded, it will usually be saved to your downloads folder. Before moving on, keep this file handy as we'll need it shortly. The Morph mod requires Forge, which is a mod loader that allows you to run Minecraft mods. If you don't have Forge installed, you will need to download it. Head to the official Forge site linked in the video description. Make sure to download the version that matches your Minecraft mod version. Once you're on the Forge site, click on the installer to download it. You may be redirected to an add page. Just wait a few seconds and click the skip button in the top right corner to start the download. Once it's downloaded, Go to your downloads folder and double click the Forge file to install it. If the file doesn't open, you might need to download Java from java.com. After installing Java, right click the Forge file, select Open with and choose Java as the program to open it. In the Forge installer, make sure Install Client is selected and then click OK. Forge will then be installed. In addition to the Morph mod, you will also need to install iChan Util, which is a necessary library for the mod to work properly. Head back to CurseForge, search for iChan Util and download the version that matches the Minecraft setup. Once downloaded, keep this file along with the Morph mod in the downloads folder for now. Now that both files are downloaded, it's time to add them to Minecraft. Open up your file explorer and navigate to your downloads folder. Now, you'll need to add these mods to Minecraft. Open the Minecraft launcher and click on the installations tab at the top of the screen. Find the Forge version of Minecraft in the list. It should have been added automatically when you installed Forge. Once you locate it, hover over it and click on the folder icon on the right. This will open your Minecraft directory. Inside this folder, look for a folder named Mods. If you don't see a Mods folder, just right-click, create a new folder and name it Mods. Now drag both the Morph Mod and iChan Util files into the Mods folder. Now that everything is set up, close the File Explorer window and head back to the Minecraft launcher. Make sure you have Forge selected in the Installations tab. Then click Play to launch Minecraft with the mods loaded. Once Minecraft opens, you should see a message indicating that the mods have been loaded successfully. Now you can jump into a world and start using the Morph mod. To use the Morph mod, you need to defeat a mob first. For example, if you want to morph into a sheep, find and defeat them in-game. You'll notice a cool animation where the mob's essence gets absorbed into you. You can repeat this process with other mobs, like pigs or even more dangerous creatures like zombies or creepers. Once you've absorbed the mobs, press the left square bracket on your keyboard to open a morph menu. A list of all the mobs you've defeated will appear and you can scroll through them using the right square bracket. When you find the mob you want to transform into, simply press enter and you will see a cool animation as your character morphs into a mob. When you morph into a different mob, you'll take on some of its characteristics. For example, if you morph into a bat, you can fly, but you'll also have fewer hearts, which means you're more vulnerable to damage. If you want to return to normal player form, just press the brackets again. Select your player model and press enter to morph back. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.